Hello, this is VK3 TVZ. Today I'd uh, like to share with you my latest project, and that is a NOAA satellite weather receiver kit, uh, which I'd purchased from Mini Kits. Um, it is their 137 megahertz weather satellite receiver. Uh, it's the EME 117 version 3, and I decided to build that up uh, for something to do. Uh, over the Christmas uh, break, I had uh, 10 days to spare, so um, I thought we'd um, uh, make make some good use of that time and and build something interesting. So anyway, um, I'll uh, uh, show you some of that now, and and um, hopefully you'll you'll get some interest out of this. Thank you. Well, this is basically the instruction set that you get with the kit. It's quite comprehensive, but it's fairly well explained, I thought. Uh, all the uh, information about uh, the unit and, of course, construction. Uh, the recommended steps for construction are shown. Gives you a schematic diagram. Uh, also a way of adding uh, several channels, uh, which I actually um, did try that. And although it was quite good, I came up with a better met method, which I'll explain afterwards, uh, which requires, or, or basically allows you to tune from one end of the band through to the other uh, without actually having channels. Uh, but anyway, this is just um, uh, the instructions. Uh, there's all the component listings and things, um, and everything else there that you might find interesting. And this is a actual circuit board layout, so you can um, check uh, everything as you go. Information on the surface mount components also involved. Anyway, so we've gone from that to that. Uh, of course, the unit doesn't come with the box. Uh, this box I purchased from JCAR. And as you can see, drilled the holes. There's a, a speaker inside and everything. Again, I've got some photos of this so uh, we can actually show you the internals and also we'll demonstrate this unit in operation. So stay tuned and um, we'll show you that in a second. I just wanted to um, give you an update on this. This here, um, it allows you to connect um, multiple channels here they show five channels connected to this receiver. Basically what you have is, is five uh, 100 kilo-ohm uh, pots or, or um, small potentiometers and it's hooked up to rotary switch, a, a double pole and um, I actually made a board here um, to, to emulate this and it's connected up there as you can see to um, uh, multi uh, position switch but um, I ended up changing my mind on this because although this worked uh, the way uh, this system works it inherently unfortunately will drift over time so I had issues with that and so the way I got away around this was much much more simple than this and uh, what I used was a, a single 10-turn uh, uh, 100k uh, precision uh, potentiometer and um, a vernier um, drive and dial. And this um, basically, as you'll see, uh, I'm not sure if it'll show in this video, I think you can see that. Um, you can set it all the way from zero zero, and each revel, uh, each time you spin this dial 360 degrees, it increments by one, and that'll happen ten times. So you've got a fairly precise movement, and this is how I now tune this receiver. And the beautiful thing about that is that um, with satellites you get. Uh, what's called Doppler shift 
where the frequency might move up or down very slightly uh, during the pass. Now with this method I don't have a fixed frequency, I can actually slightly adjust up and down a little bit where required to get the, the, uh, the best signal. So um, I found this was a much much better idea. Uh, these devices can cost a little bit of money but I tell you it was definitely worth doing. It was, uh, it's really made this receiver so much more enjoyable to, to operate. I put a lot of work into this as you can see but uh, unfortunately the results of it are not as good as with the uh, uh, the vernier uh, potentiometer so anyway um, that's just a thought on this kit as well um, that I would recommend instead of actually doing what they've shown here anyway um, we'll get back to the, the pictures and um, enjoy the video this is my VHF NOAA receiver it is um, it's picking up a satellite now I've just very quickly set up some software here um, it's called um, WXSAT I've got a bit of a line there because of the signal dropped out but anyway I'm just trying to get this thing working um, so this is just a very quick demonstration of it receiving a signal but um, anyhow we'll uh, we'll see how we go once we do a bit more fine tuning but anyway this is it, this is the project full signal I'm getting an amp uh, a picture there uh, this is the first image we've captured uh, on this receiver that I've made and um, as you can see it's working pretty well pictures come up pretty nicely so this is very successful anyway hope you enjoyed having a look at my receiver I've made uh, thanks for watching Well, thank you very much for for uh, your interest and in having a look at my project. Uh, hopefully, it will inspire some of you out there to uh, get that soldering iron out and and start making a few things, some home brew, ham equipment, or or such as what I've done. It's a lot of fun. And uh, anyway, once again, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. This is VK3 TVZ.